the last call is notorious for call-outs. We're notorious for challenges, and this is no different. With the NCAA tournament less than 24 hours away, we have ourselves a new challenger. ESPN's Joe Lunardi, it is your turn to go one-on-one -on -one with the captain. This is the Battle of the Bracketologists. We start out with the Midwest region, and it's pretty much a no-brainer here. We both agree that the number one and number two seeds, basically Kansas and the Ohio State University, are both going to advance, but it's in the middle that we seem to have ourselves a conflict of interest to a certain point. We're both pretty much neck and neck on every single thing except for two games. He has chosen Kansas, Northern Iowa, Michigan State, Maryland, San Diego State, Georgetown and Oklahoma State as well as the Ohio State University. On the captain side, Kansas, Northern Iowa, Michigan State, Maryland, Tennessee, Georgetown, Georgia Tech, and the Ohio State University. So we both pretty much picked the Jayhawks, the Buckeyes, and Steph Rockwood's favorite backyard of Hoya country, Georgetown, to advance. It's the battle between San Diego State and Tennessee that we seem to have an issue with. And of course, Oklahoma State and Georgia Tech. But that's going to make things real interesting when the next round since it begins. In the West region, Syracuse, Florida State, UTEP, Murray State, Xavier, Pitt, BYU, and Kansas State are Joe Lunardi's picks. On my side, side of the fence, it is Syracuse, Florida State, UTEP, Vanderbilt, Xavier, Pitt, Florida, and Kansas State. So, did you really honestly think I was going to pick against against the Florida Gators? Not going to happen by a long shot. I say the Gators, even though they've been in a slump, they bounce up out of that slump quick, fast, in a huge ass hurry. When they sit here and they beat up on beat up on BYU, may not be by much, but a win is a win in the NCAA tournament. That's pretty much where I'm standing. Now, in the East region, however, this is where it gets real bizarre. Because there's a lot of upsets on Joe Lunardi's side. Well, not really much of upsets. More on the lines of shockers and what what the deuce, deuce moments. For Joe Lunardi, it's Kentucky, Texas, Temple, Wisconsin, Marquette, New Mexico, Clemson, and West Virginia advance to the next round. On the captain's brackets, it's Kentucky, Wake Forest, Temple, Wisconsin, Washington, Montana, Missouri, and West Virginia. We agree number one, number two do advance. Right there in the middle of that, however, that's where things get interesting, as always. But it wouldn't be March Madness without some kind of upsets, right? Now, the South is where we definitely have ourselves a big problem there, Joe. On your side, side of fence, fence, Mr. Lunardi, it's Duke, Cal, Utah State, Purdue, Old Dominion, Baylor, Richmond, and Villanova. That being said, Purdue was considered by Fox Sports one of the teams that you do not want to pick because Purdue lost one of their one of their big guys. Plus, they're playing a team that is notorious for for pulling off upsets in the form of Siena, which is why the captains' picks are Duke, Cal, Utah State, Siena, Notre Dame, Baylor, St. Mary's, and an upset over Richmond and Villanova. Pretty simple, clear cut, and to the point. We like to keep things keep things simple around here. But then again, this is March Madness. You gotta go with some upsets, especially with Sienna, because Sienna, that's their mo. They go in, they dominate, they shock, they clinch, and they move on. That's how they roll, and that's how they're gonna continue to roll. This is gonna happen pretty much for the next couple of days. Or, in this case, the next couple of weeks. We're talking about a bunch of games. 64 teams, 32 games. Should make things very interesting going down the stretch. All that being said, this is the Captain Ron Johnson. This has been the last call. And don't forget, join the revolution today. BleacherBrothers.com, your home for all your March Madness needs and requirements. It's the perfect drug that... It which we call sports. So, all that being said, Florida and BYU get us tipped off tomorrow, 1220 Eastern Time, 1020 here in the mountain, which gives me at least a couple of hours to here and get some sleep in before 
well, you know, to nurse off the hangover of St. Patty's Day, which is why I'm saying happy St. Patty's Day to everybody. Have some fun out there. Be safe. Don't drink and drive. And definitely don't go over your limits. But just remember, when that bell rings, it's go time. See you guys tomorrow for the NCAA tournament. And go Gators. A nigga survived the worst, but my life is glorious. Whoa. But I know that I leave that be hurdle, and I'm so victorious.